Hey everyone, today we're gonna learn another JavaScript snippet that will actually grab the current time of day. And then depending on the time of day, we can do things in Storyline. We can show different images, we can you know, take them down different pathways as well. And so it may, may be something that you wanna do, may not be something that you wanna do, but hopefully at least shows you the flexibility when you start working with JavaScript and Storyline. So let's go ahead and get started. My name is Jeff Batt, and if you haven't checked out my website already, go ahead and check out my website at learningdojo.ninja. Here you can check out all previous blog posts covering everything learning development related. You can also download free templates and get full courses covering everything from A to Z in these various topics. Now, I have a series of videos that you can check out for Storyline and JavaScript. Go ahead and check those out there. I cover a lot of different things about how to do, um, like how to pull in the operating system. I also talk about how to uh, pull in the current month and so forth. But today I'm gonna focus on specifically the time and what time of day it is when the learner is actually taking the course. Maybe this could be useful if you're teaching them something of like how to grab customer service or how to contact IT or something like that. What you could do is add this little JavaScript snippet here and then based on the amount of time you can say, or the time of day that it is, you can tell the person, oh, it looks like IT is closed right now, but you can talk, contact them at nine o'clock. So you can change text, you can uh, change images or, or something based on the time of day. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this example and how I set it up inside of Storyline first of all. So I have this person right here, if I preview it, I have this person that is just trying to figure out what time of day it is. So here it is. That's my person of what, you know, what time of day it is. I'm, I'm basically just showing this icon. And then when I click on get time, it's gonna hide that icon. But then depending on the amount of time right here, I have this icon right here, which is the sun. And then I have a state that basically has a moon. That's so that's how I set that up. Now, even before I know what the time of day is, I can add some logic inside of Storyline. So right here, set day, which is the name of this object right Right here, I have this right here, day. Set day to normal when the user clicks on get time. So right here, when they click on get time, but if hours is greater than zero and hours is less than or equal to 17. Now when I get it back by default, it's actually going to be in military time. It's gonna be like, instead of one o'clock, it'll be 12, or sorry, 13 and 14 and 15, 16 and so forth. So right now, it's gonna go ahead and say, if it's anything you know above 17, which would be five o'clock, then it's, or below 17 and above zero, then it's gonna go ahead and show the normal, the sun. But if it is above, and this is the change to moon, then if it's still greater than zero, but if it's also greater than or equal to five, then it's gonna go ahead and show the moon because it's the evening time in this case. So that's a simple little example that I'm already kind of adding the logic here. And but what I need to do is pull in and update the information of what time it actually is and update it to this variable right here called hours. So I needed to create a variable called hours to begin with. But then I also have this variable called current time. I want to actually display what the current time is. And so I'm gonna have these two variables called hours and current time, and I'm going to update the current time to display what time it is and then colon, and then I can even get the seconds if I wanted to and display it there. So that is the first thing. And then the second thing is the hours is what I'm going to display right here, just so I can see it displayed on the screen. Now, what I need to do from here is I need to go ahead and add a JavaScript trigger. We're gonna go ahead and select this drop-down box and come down to JavaScript trigger, execute JavaScript. Now in JavaScript, all I have to do is paste in my code and I'll walk you through what's happening here. So we have, uh, we're creating three different variables called current time, hours, and minutes. Now these variables don't have to correlate with the variables inside of Storyline. These are my own little JavaScript variables that I'm creating for this window. And then I'm using a JavaScript function called newDate, and then I'm grabbing the hours and I'm grabbing the minutes. 
Then I'm creating another variable called timestamp and I'm taking those hours and I'm concatenating a colon here and I'm concatenating it with the minutes because if I don't do this, I won't get the, you know, three o'clock colon 02 if it's 302. So I need to bring these back together and put them in a variable called time stamp. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Now I'm then pushing that information. So I have to get this information from the browser. The browser has all the information. And so it depends on how the computer is set up for the user. Just keep that in mind. But the browser has the information and I'm grabbing that from the browser. But now I need to push because we can do things in independent of Storyline. But in order for Storyline to know about it, we have to push the information back to Storyline. So that's what this is doing, is we're gonna talk to the player, the Storyline player, and then we're going to set the variable called current time and we're gonna pass in the information of timestamp because I want to have those two numbers combined. So I'm gonna pass in this variable right here. The second one is the hours. I just wanna pass in the hours. This is gonna give me the 13, 14, 15, one o'clock, two o'clock, things like that. So that is what I'm passing in seconds. The number, I'll, all I have to do is type in the name of the variable and it will pass in inside of the quotes. And here it's talking to the variable inside of Storyline. It could be the same name, it could be a different name, it's up to you. But just by copying and pasting all that here, because I have those variables inside a storyline, now I can go ahead and preview this. And I wanna make sure that this happens before the logic actually happens. So what I'm gonna do is move this up so it's the very first thing. Whatever's on top is gonna run first in triggers. So the order in your triggers matters. Keep that in mind. All right, so let's go ahead and publish this out. I have to publish it out because JavaScript doesn't run when I preview it inside of Storyline. The reason why is because JavaScript only runs inside of a browser. Storyline is not a browser, so I have to preview it inside of Chrome, Safari, whatever I'm actually using here. So I can publish this just to web and click on publish. It'll publish all the web files out and then I can preview it with my JavaScript snippets. So let's go ahead and wait here a second. All right, so now I can click on view project. When I click on view project, it'll pull open my storyline and then I'm gonna just jump down to time right here. Now I added the trigger when the time the person clicks on the button. You can do this when the page loads. You don't have to have the button click. You could actually have the logic figured out before the button or before the page actually loads here. But I did it on the button click, so I'm gonna click on get time. And you can see right here, it pulls back, it's 1146, and it pulled back the regular time. And because it's below 17, it's showing me the sun. Now I could actually even take, um, if it's above, 12 if it's like 13 14 15 and then I can minus 12 to kind of manipulate that number to get a time Like you're used to unless you use military time It's it's basically you can do a lot of manipulation with these numbers But at least this shows you that you could grab the time of day and then depending on the time of day You could show different information So just another JavaScript snippet if you want to check out the rest of my JavaScript snippets and storyline Go ahead and check out my playlist also, if you wanna head over to my YouTube channel, make sure that you click the like button and you subscribe to my channel as well as hit the bell notification so you get notified of all future videos as they come out. That really helps my channel, allows me to continue to produce this free content for you to help you with your storyline developments, your e-learning developments and so forth and to extend storyline and get the most out of it. I also wanna know what else do you want to see? Do you wanna see other JavaScript snippets? Do you want to see you know additional functionality inside of storyline what do you want to see that I can create um, for you and specifically to give you the most helpful content so head on over to my YouTube channel and comment down below on that but that's all I have for today so thanks everyone and I'll see you next time